I've got one of the most popular selling vehicles here in the UK. In 2022, this was second in the Super Mini segment for most vehicles sold, only beaten by the Corsa. It's the Ford Puma, and today I'm gonna to give you reasons why everyone, especially here in the UK, are running around trying to get themselves one. It's super practical. Come and check the boot out. 456 litres of boot space. But when I lift the boot floor up, welcome to the Mega Box. I know, it sounds, sounds interesting. It's Ford's uh, marketing way of saying, this is a special piece of flooring which can hold 80 litres and also you can stand plants in there, golf bags, up to 115 centimetres. So the Mega Box is super handy. And not only that, it's waterproof too. So you can hose it down if you have a bit of a messy experience. That's a drain plug. Hose this sucker down and wash all the dirty water. You know, watch it wash away. That's so handy. Affordability is a massive reason. Starting around 24K, yes, I'm in the ST seven speed auto gearbox version, not the manual 1.5, but the lower trim levels, the one liters, the 125 PS and the 155 PS, starts around 24K. And you know what? On a lease deal as well, it's super affordable. You can get one for around, from my research, you can get one for around 240 pounds per month. That's 10,000 miles per annum on a three year deal. And that's around a couple of grand up front. And that's not bad, that's under 250 quid, right? 240 pounds per month. And you've got this car, super affordable. Another great reason. Efficiency. Now I'm in the ST 170 PS one, I've just told you that, but 44.8 miles to the gallon for this one. And the lower ones, you're looking at over 50 miles per gallon. You're gonna save loads of money on fuel. Efficiency, that is, is superb. And that's the reason, another reason, why more and more people are looking to get themselves a Puma. Now I am in the ST, like I said, but these cars are fun to drive. I've got the flappy paddles on this one. Oh, it sounds good as well. Let's drop it down a gear. Woo, there we go. And you know what? Super agile. Even the lower spec trims of the Ford Pumas are gonna be agile. They're gonna be fun. They're gonna put a smile on your face. And trust me, as soon as you have a little bit of a test drive in the Ford Puma, it doesn't matter if it's the low end or the top end spec like this, you are going to have a little bit of fun every time you throw it into the corner. The handling is so responsive. Tiny micro inputs into this wheel and the car is with you the whole way. It's so direct, it's so agile and so well put together. And that's why you see so many Pumas on the UK roads. They're fun to drive. Good tech inside of the Puma as well. We're just having a little look at the reversing camera. Not the biggest infotainment, but look, that reversing camera does the job. We're reversing out of a space here. And it's pretty clear. And we're off again. Digital dash works well, very clear and crisp. And this one is the ST, so you've got these bucket seats, which actually are quite hard on my, on my thighs. I wouldn't want to be in this for too long of a journey, but you've got flashes of red stitching here, some carbon fiber effect up on the dash. It looks good. Obviously, if you want to put a little bit more money into the ST. This does 7.4 seconds, not 62. But if you want the lower Puma as well, that's gonna, you're looking at nine seconds, just over nine seconds. And still good, all something just beeped up. Really good. Also, this has mild hybrid tech as well. So you've got a little voltage battery, 48 volts battery that helps out every now and again. So it kind of ticks on that efficiency point as well. But all in all, this ST1 is quite an interesting drive because there's a little bit of an uproar because the manual is 1.5 and this is a one liter seven speed auto. Obviously it loses 40 brake horsepower because I think the 1.5 is like 200 brake and this is 170 PS. So there's a little bit of a difference there in power, but Ford are giving those automatic lovers, those DCT lovers, just another option. Come with me as we have a little look at this beautiful car. Beautiful blue, great wheels. It's, a, it's kind of like a bug at the front, very bug-like. 
But people are loving it. Cool grill. Look at this splitter as well. It's got the Ford Performance splitter on it. This one's the ST. But even the lower trim levels, the normal Pumas, look great. It's the reason why people are buying it. We've come to the end of our episode. As always, if you like the video, throw us a like, get yourself subbed to Car Chat TV. Comment below, what would you rather have over a Puma? Let me know what you think about the car. As always, get yourself subbed, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.